are at internet. At the time of recording, I'm only a few subscribers away from hitting 500, which is very exciting. I know it's not a big number in YouTube terms, but for me it's exciting. When you think about the fact that I started this channel as just a way to share some videos with a handful of friends, and all of a sudden there's 500 of you. Now, as those of you will know who have been around for a while, I like to mark the significant numbers in the growth of this channel by making a little quilt for one of my subscribers. How it works is you leave a comment on this video with some sort of prompt. It might be a color or a style or a theme just anything that might inspire me to make a mini quilt. I will randomly pick one comment and I will use that prompt to make a mini quilt for that person. Now, I in no way promise that what I end up making will in any way resemble what you might have had in mind when you gave me that prompt. I will interpret it in whatever way that it inspires me. It's a prompt, it's not a prescription. But hopefully you will enjoy how it turns out. So the rules are, this is open to anyone wherever you are in the world, but you do have to be subscribed to this channel. You need to leave your comment before, let's say next Sunday, which is the 19th of June. So that'll be New Zealand time, 19th of June. So that's the 18th for most of the world. Normally I wouldn't announce one of these giveaways until I'd actually reached the magic number. But seeing as I'm so close and I wanna get this video out on the normal video day, I am risking that maybe I won't reach 500 by Sunday. Do you have to climb in the bag? Look, go play in it over there. It's much more exciting when it's over there. If by any chance I don't actually make it to 500 by the 19th, then I think I'll probably extend the deadline until the day when I actually hit 500. But it's only a couple more subscribers needed. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, and then we'll get to the 500 quicker. <laughs> I'll draw the winner probably in my next video in two weeks time but it will probably take me a bit longer than that to actually make the quilt um yeah could could be up to a couple of months just depending on how inspired I feel by the prompt and how busy I am because this is quite a busy time of year I'm really looking forward to seeing what the prompts are last time there was some great fun prompts and I actually ended up making two quilts because one of the prompts was so good I just couldn't not make it. So that's the giveaway part. Next, an invitation. You might remember a couple of months back Brenda from Conquering Mount Scrapmore and I did a bit of a collaboration. Well, she's planning an international stitch marathon which is a 12 hour long Zoom call, which is gonna have quilters from all over the world on it. And it's gonna be kind of like the stitch and chat that she and I did, but much, much bigger scale and for much longer. And the really fun bit is that you can join the call too. So it's gonna be happening from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on the 22nd of July in Mountain Time, which is one of the American time zones. If you just look up Mountain Time, you'll better get a conversion, I'm sure. Um, in New Zealand, that is 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. on the 23rd of July. Um, I am not gonna be up at 3 a.m. to <laughs> be on the entire call. I'll probably just join for the last few hours because yeah, I like quilting, but I don't like quilting at 3 a.m. <laughs> 
if you would like to take part, I'm going to put the Zoom details into the description. So have a look down in the description. Parsnips. I'm sorry, Parsnips has discovered a paper bag and she is trying to climb into it. <laughs> well, I'll put the Zoom call details down in the description below. So have a look there. You don't have to be there for the whole 12 hours, obviously, because I'm not. Just You can just drop in and out as you like during the day. There's, I think, a limit of 100 people on the call. So if it fills up, then you'll be put in a waiting room until someone leaves and then you'll be allowed into the call. It sounds like it's going to be a really, really fun day. So I hope some of you come along and take part in it. Now finally, just so that this video isn't all announcements, here's a little bit of video from well, it's a couple of months ago now when my Dungeons and Dragons group got together to paint some little figurines. If you've never played Dungeons and Dragons before, you might not know, but we use little figurines which represent our characters on the playing board. And you normally buy them unpainted. Uh, this is a partially painted one. And our group has been talking for ages about we should all get together and paint the figurines we've been buying. So finally, a few months back, we had a free weekend and we all got together and did some paintings. I'm kind of looking forward to painting that one as well. Yeah. A lot of it is out of focus. I haven't quite mastered the whole YouTuber, you know, you're supposed to put your hand behind it so that you get good focus. I don't know if Anya was supposed to be a brown bear or not, but I feel like she was. So this is the palette that I am trying to match for this sort of a handsome bear from Grizzly Bear and Cubs Mall Man. So you notice that it's light on top and dark on bottom, which I'm trying to emulate. Because we've all gone, we have gone up a level since then, and that does make a difference. This entire thing is going to be like designing a hat for Fluffy. Are there hats? <laughs> no, but there's a shield, and there's another little shield, and there's some feathers for Greek hats. So it's like between those, I can make a Fluffy hat. I need tweezers or something. <laughs> You're going to have so much fun with that hat. Yeah. <laughs> It's on your first coat, you get a yeah. chance to have a go at things. It's just good that they're undercoated already, otherwise. This is a lot of fun, but it's very exact. <laughs> Put it on too wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that gives you a different effect. It does, yes. Do you have any recommendations? Um, or non fiction? I, I find the entire thing very interesting, just in case that. No! <laughs> but it does look like a hat. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, twirl. I guess the scene for that. Slow twirl or. Gay, gay, homosexual, gay. <laughs> Don't you they are so creepy. You could have owl bears. Now, here, there's a mouse me. bear. Yeah, it's really good until you get it like front on, and then it's mouse bear. Definitely, if you, if you get the bear front on, that is a bad sign for everyone involved, Jim. I hope you enjoyed that little look at a fun wee craft project that wasn't quilting. Don't forget to do all those nice internety things like liking, subscribing, especially if you want to enter the giveaway, leave your comment in this video. Don't forget to check out the International Stitch Marathon information which is in the description and I really hope you take part in that because it's going to be a lot of fun and I will see you next time. Kakite anō internet. Yeah.